What's up, Markerheads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and today I'm bringing you Leafeon. This is a watercolor painting that I did on Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. This is the 300 GSM thickness or weight or whatever. <laughs> um, and I really like this paper because it's super smooth. I used Reeves watercolors, I used Sap Green, Lemon Yellow, Raw Sienna, Viridian Hue, and Cerulean. And mostly the ceruleans just mixed in to make greens, but I still used it, so I'm gonna mention that I used it. Uh, I had some challenges with this one, especially with bleeding. Um, it's really hard for me to wait for watercolors to dry because I'm super, super used to markers, so it's something that I'm having to learn to be patient with, and you'll see that there's a few times where I accidentally just jumped in and, like right there with the eye, just jumped in and added paint when the other paint around it was still wet, so I had a lot of problems with bleeding. Um, it's something I just need to get used to. That's That kind of leads me to my question, actually. I've been meaning to ask if you guys have tried any new mediums, and if you've had to change the way you work in order to adapt to the medium you've been working with. Um, personally, it's been really hard for me to move to watercolors because of the quick the quickness of Copics, the, the fact that it dries so quickly, I don't have to wait around for the paper to stop being wet. <laughs> um, so that's something that I'd love to hear. If you guys tried any new mediums, what you've been uh, adapting to, and if, if you have been enjoying your new medium, or if you've, if you've been banging your head against the wall. Because <laughs> sometimes I feel that way about watercolors, I'm just like, ah, why are you so different from markers, and other times I'm just really happy with it because I love the results, I love the texture. So, in any case, I'm really curious to see or hear what you guys have been working with lately because I'm a big fan of new art supplies and just hearing about them and talking about them and just totally going nerd super saiyan about art supplies because I really, really like them. Um, so, I also want to mention some quick updates. I'm back in school. I started on September 1st. I was going to do art classes for um, homeschooled kids, and then I tried to, I did some test classes with, like I did a test class with one of my friends, and then I tried to teach some kids to do stuff, and I'm like, I'm not ready for this, so I went back to school, and, uh, and that, a lot of that it has to do with one, I realized how much there is still for me to learn when I was trying to do that, and also uh, I'm in a much better place than I was when I decided I wasn't going to do school anymore. I'm, a, I'm in a much better mood all of the time, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I feel a little bit less burned out, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying my classes so far, so that's good. and. I to continue to enjoy my classes. <laughs> um, I'm also still having internet problems, so I want to let you guys know that I'm only able to be active really regularly on my Instagram and my Twitter, so if you want more updates and see art regularly, then you're going to have to follow me there, because YouTube, it's going to be pretty sporadic for a couple more weeks. Um, and I'm also struggling to fulfill some Etsy orders, and I've shut down my Etsy store because of school, and also I need to replace the ink in my printer. I tried to get drugstore prints to fulfill those orders with, and they were horrible quality, and I'm not going to deal with that. I want to give people a good quality products, so I'm going to be getting ink for my printer and sending it off prints that are nice and decent. <laughs> so that will be here pretty soon, probably within the next week or two, um, replacing the ink on my printer and doing that stuff. But I am also on Zazzle and Redbubble now instead of Etsy because I just cannot handle fulfilling orders while I'm doing school. So I've put that sort of thing on Redbubble and Zazzle and with it comes with the added bonus of having more varieties of merch to get like shirts and buttons and stuff like that. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Please check out those and I'll see you next time.